Hello there. How are you doing today? Today I'll be going over some of the lore and abilities of SCP-999, also known as the Tickle Monster. If you enjoy, please like and subscribe. Now, let's get started with keeping our little friend company, shall we? Count Julius Productions Item SCP-999 Object Class Safe Special Containment Procedures SCP-999 is allowed to freely fro roam the facility, should it desire to, but otherwise must stay in its pen between 8pm and 9pm for sleeping or during emergency lockdowns for its own safety. Subject is not allowed out of its pen at night or off facility grounds at any time. Pen is to be kept clean and food replaced twice daily. All personnel are allowed inside SCP-999's holding area, but only if they are not assigned to other tasks at that time or if they are on a break. Subject is to be played with when bored and spoken to in a calm, non-threatening voice. Description SCP-999 appears to be a large, amorphous, gelatinous mass of translucent orange slime weighing about 54 kilograms or 120 pounds with a consistency similar to that of peanut butter. Subject's size and shape is easily malleable and can change shape at will, although when at rest, SCP-999 becomes a rounded, oblate dome roughly 2 meters wide and 1 meter in height. The surface of SCP-999 consists of a thin, transparent membrane, similar to that of an animal cell roughly, 0.5 centimeters thick and is highly elastic, allowing SCP-999 to flatten portions of its body up to 2 centimeters thin. This surface is also hydrophobic, although SCP-999 can willfully absorb liquids. See Addendum SCP-999-A. Addendum SCP-999-A. Reminder to all staff, SCP-999 is not to consume caffeinated soft drinks of any kind. Last week, someone gave SCP-999 a can of cola along with its usual breakfast. Not only was it literally bouncing off the walls for half an hour, the carbonation make SCP-999 visibly queasy afterwards, and it refused to move or eat the rest of the day. SCP-999 has thankfully recovered since, but the staff member in question has been reprimanded. Doctor Redacted. The rest of SCP-999's body is filled with a viscous orange substance of unknown chemical makeup, though it is capable of digesting organic materials with ease. Subject's temperament is best described as playful and dog-like. When approached, SCP-999 will often react with overwhelming elation, slithering over to the nearest person and leaping upon them, hugging them with a pair of sweatopods while nuzzling the person's face with a third sweatopod, all while emitting high-pitched gurgling and cool cubing noises. The surface of SCP-999 emits a pleasing odor that differs with whomever it is interacting with. Recorded scents include chocolate, fresh laundry, bacon, roses, and Play-Doh. Simply touching SCP-999 surface causes an immediate, mild euphoria, which intensifies the longer one is exposed to SCP-999, and lasts long after separation from the creature. Subject's favorite activity is tickle wrestling often by completely enveloping a person from the neck down and tickling them until asked to stop, though it does not always immediately comply with this request. Though injuries may occur, SCP-999 has never been found to 
purposely attempt to harm others, and will immediately back away and contract its body into a quivering round while gurgling in a manner similar to a whimping, whimpering dog, seemingly apologizing for hurting someone on accident. While the creature will interact with anyone, it seems to have a special interest in those who are unhappy or hurt in any way. Persons suffering from crippling depression or PTSD, for example, have reported having a far more positive outlook on life after multiple interactions with SCP-999. The possibility of manufacturing antidepressants from SCP-999 slime is currently being discussed. In addition to its playful behavior, SCP-999 seems to love all animals, especially humans, refusing to eat any meat and even risking its own life to save others. On one occasion, leaping in front of a person to take a bullet fired at them, subject's intellect is still up for debate. Though its behavior is infantile, it seems to understand human speech and most modern technology, including guns. SCP-999's diet consists entirely of candy and sweets, with M&M's and Necco wafers being its favorite. Its eating methods are similar to those of an amoeba. amoeba. Addendum SCP-999-B The following is a report from an experiment in which SCP-682 is exposed to SCP-999 in the hopes that it will curb the creature's omnicidal rage. SCP-999 is released into SCP-682's containment area. SCP-999 immediately slithers towards SCP-682. 999. Elated gurgles. 682. Unintelligible groans growling. What is that? SCP-999 moves in front of SCP-682, jumping up and down in a dog-like manner while calling out in a high-pitched squealing noise. 682 proceeded to groan. Oh, disgusting. SCP-682 immediately steps on SCP-999, completely flattening SCP-999. Observers were about to abort the experiment when the SCP-682 started talking again. Oh, hmm, what is this? <laughs> I feel good. SCP-999 can be seen crawling up from between SCP-682's toes up along its side and around its neck, where it clings on and begins gently nuzzling with its sweatopod. A wide grin slowly spreads across SCP-682's face. <laughs> Feel so happy, happy. <laughs> SCP-682 repeats the word happy for several minutes, laughing occasionally before escalating into non-stop laughter. As laughter continues, SCP-682 rolls around on its back, slamming its tail upon the floor with dangerous force. <laughs> Stop! No tickling! <laughs> SCP-682 and SCP-999 continue the tickle fight until SCP-682 finally wears down and appears to fall asleep with which, what would appear to be a smile on its face. After 15 minutes with no, S with no activity, two D-Class personnel enter the room to retrieve SCP-999. When SCP-999 is removed, SCP-682 immediately wakes up and unleashes an un unidentifiable wave of energy from its body, all the while laughing maniacally. All persons within the wave's range collapse into crippling fits of laughter, 
allowing SCP-682 to escape and slaughter all in its path. Meanwhile, SCP-999 quickly rescues as many persons as it can, taking them to a safe place to recover from SCP-682's laughter wave, while agents suppress and recontain SCP-682. Despite the tragedy that SCP-682 had brought upon the facility, SCP-999 had not shown any fear towards the creature, and in fact had made gestures suggesting that it wants to play with SCP-682 again. SCP-682, however, has stated, The feculin little unintelligible can data expunged and die. Memo from Dr. Redacted While the test was successful and ended in tragedy, that had to be the funniest thing I have ever seen. I never thought I'd see the day when I would regard SCP-682 as cute. Please send me a copy of the security tapes ASAP. And that's all for today's video. On ne the next video I make, I intend to discuss SCP-001, the Scarlet King. Okay? And, uh discuss his relation to SCP-999. Now, if you enjoy that and want to see that in the future, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.